trust you are well but my skin is kind of skinning when it skins when it skins oh i like this mm -hmm. little cream and sunscreen ciao anywho um today is what is today how about welcome back to my channel that'll be a good start welcome back to my channel have you liked have you commented have you subscribed my aim is to get to 1k followers or no 1k subscribers by december this year 2023 so we're in 2023 anyway today is um wednesday the 5th of april obviously 2023 and um today is the launch of my hot mum talk which stands for humble open and transparent mum talk so i will be having conversations with mothers concerning um all things motherhood but this month's topic is schools systems and structures so i'm really really excited about that um tad bit nervous but not nothing i haven't done before do check me out on instagram at she is jasnev or at infinite woman underscore you'll find me there i'd love to put it at the bottom of the description maybe i might do that who knows boom but um yeah um i'm launching that today um still no heating and hot water and they are not coming until next week wednesday but i said that before but i just need a reminder so that you can journey with me on this so i'm about to head out i'm gonna go and see if i can get some of my easter essentials which is like bun bula hard old bread i'm gonna get some onions and peppers and i need to get the children some cereal so i'm just gonna run out do that come back in sort myself out and then just kind of like try and rest and retreat for later um so the conversation is at eight o'clock on instagram live so do follow me there as i said um at she is jasnev that is she female she is jasnev um so yeah but anyway i'm gonna head out and go on the road I couldn't even film in the shop because I was flabbergasted and taken so far aback by the price increase of our um, Caribbean essentials for the um, festive seasons. Hard doughed bread, a whopping three pounds. But you know what? God is a provider. And because it is tradition, I shall get it. This spice bun that used to be of a grand two ninety nine is now four pounds. Four pounds. He even told me that there was a bun enough for nine pounds and wait for it. A bun for sixteen pounds. I said, God. When are you coming for thee? <laughs> because. Anyway, I've got myself some salt. Fish seasoning. Black pepper. One whole 99 now. Remember when them someday used to be about one pound twenty five. Then, a little peas because my daughter says she want rest in peas. And some crowny scotch bonnets where I could find where it was at least a little bit hard. I must get about four of these because the stock that he had was not stocking and then jamaica cheese oh well one the big one you know but when them tell me said the big one is six pounds i said it's all right i will i will make deal with the three pound one you know when these used to be in weights and they used to be different prices you know 279 249 199 399 now they are all three pounds standard <laughs> hey! it is well and then as you will know with my hot water situation i got some more cups forks 
spoons and I forgot the paper plates but that shop didn't have them with all due diligence but yeah as flabbergasted as I am I give thanks that I'm able to get these little essentials that my children require and well not require but they're used to having during this time so I'm just going to pop into Tesco get some onion red peppers and then tomorrow I'm going to have to go out and get some fish yeah it's just all going on but you know we try we try as mothers don't we we really do so yeah I'm going to pop into Tesco's and book your uncle Steve I'm back now I didn't even get to film what i was doing in tesco because i was just so focused on making sure i pick up only what i need and not what i want so this is my tesco shop and that's it are you using jelly fries say hello say hi no oh you didn't want to say hello to the people huh you didn't want to say hello to the people and yes, before you lot come to me, I told y'all I don't have no heating or hot water. So I am using plastic plates and plastic cups. Oh, crrr. <coughs> <coughs> hot. hot. It's hot. Hey, guys. So I'm now getting ready for my live. So just doing small, small makeup beats. Yeah. Which I'm excited about. My bed is just very untidy. Well, we're not going to watch that. But yes, I'm looking forward to my first conversation. And I say my first in terms of like this series that I'm doing called Humble, Open and Transparent Mum Talk. But it's called Hot Mum Talk. But the H-O-T stands for Humble, Open and Transparent. I stole it from um Mike Todd because he didn't copyright it so you know it was stolen I just stole of it um but yeah just getting ready with me I'm not gonna do a big old get ready with me but I thought I'd share a little bit of this process you know I'd love to learn how to do makeup real real good because I see these girls do it and I'm like the dedication, as I was saying, the dedication and time that goes into it is one of a kind. Oh, yes, child. Anyway, I'm going to continue doing this and I will come back when I am done. <laughs> Guys, so I'm ready now. So this is the fit today. <clears throat> I'm just wearing this Houston baseball top and did my makeup. Hoop earrings always wearing my oh my infinity chain. Can't wait to get a tattoo of this. And yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> no one else ain't gonna see anything from here down where my leggings and my house socks and that's about it really so i'm gonna get ready to start off soon so make sure you go and check out the replay on at she is jasmine on instagram i would really appreciate that <laughs> good girl is on her way home went to pick up my daughter by force so I finished my live. No, I just asked her politely and she said, of course my favorite child, I will always pick you up from anywhere, even if you was in Jamaica. That's what she said. Yeah, that, that's what I said. I'm the favorite daughter here. Okay, guys. Eldest. Bye. Hey, guys. So I'm back home now. Um... Best part of the day, we're wiping off the makeup. Yes. Um, so, yes, as I said, today was the launch of my first live mum talk. I think it went good. I think it went well. I'm my biggest critic, but I definitely think it was an amazing conversation. And my guest really dropped some amazing gems for mums. 
so yeah that's about it really i'm about to get myself ready for bed and call it a night let me turn around before you see me in the mirror but yeah i'm about to call it a night i'm so tired tomorrow i've got to wake up early and i'm going to the market to not the market but like a shopping center to go and get some fish for the easter weekend as they commence but apart from that yeah that's it really i'm just shattered and tired so i will definitely catch you all tomorrow all right good night guys and make sure you be liking and subscribing make sure all right then guys bye okay. morning guys how y'all doing so today is the thursday the 6th no, of april like let me turn her dogs. down so i'm just catching well, up on some people. vlogs myself i love me some candies briefly um i'm about to pop out and get some fish for the easter weekend and yeah pretty much that's it so y'all yeah, gonna come with me I'm going to record as much as I can. Mind the doors. Doors closing. Going down. Relaxy, if you need. Come on, darling. Come on. Relaxy. I'm thinking about I need to... Just wrap the onions. Card payment? Yeah. I've just picked up some earrings. Or these ones. I'm trying to look for something for my friend's wedding to just... Just something. I'm not spending any load of money, but I need something gold. So I was thinking these ones, or maybe just wearing like some type of um, studs. I do like these. I'm a very simple person. And then now I have to find myself a strapless bra and hoping that with this Primark stuff, something fits me in here because their sizing is so awkward. <laughs> You lot can't say I didn't bring you. You see these fragrances here? Well, this spray just specifically is just really good and long lasting to me. I practically need to get myself a washing bowl because I need to be setting my sink with a kettle and all that to wash my dishes. It's just crazy. When you have no hot water or heating, you actually realize how much things, you actually need things and you actually appreciate things. Looking at these candles, and this one smells so divine. I don't know what this one is. Okay, there's no name on that one, but this one smells so nice. My daughter is pretending that she can make cheesecake. What did you do in this this thing that we're doing? I bought the ingredient. And then my son is stirring like he's got muscles. Then over here, we've got some rice cripsy cakes happening for tomorrow. Did you get the mini eggs? Yes, they're somewhere over here. The mini I'm about to do some dance practice for the wedding coming up. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with one of the bridesmaids. So we're about to get down. For this, my fires. Hey, I will be putting on my flats by then. <laughs> it's way too much. Too much. It's too. It's too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. Stand still. Good morning, everyone. I trust you are well. Today is <clears throat> Friday the seventh of april 2023 and it is good friday today 
I just finished washing my face and now I'm creaming it and I'm about to put on some sunscreen and I am off to start frying my fish for Good Friday so it's going to be a long time in the kitchen today can't wait to eat my hard oil bread and bun with Jamaica cheese but most importantly reflecting on why this is marked as Good Friday and that is Jesus dying for us yes I am a Christian I love the Lord or shall I say a follower of Christ a disciple of Christ that is whom I am and yeah this time is just really important to me <clears throat> a time of reflection and just a time to really spread the good news share the message but most importantly share it with my children um we've even we're gonna do some communion as well i'm not sure if we're gonna do it today or on friday sorry today or sunday so we've got some little shot glasses so that we can do our communion yours with a cajado bread and break bread and drink in remembrance of jesus and all that good stuff so yeah really looking forward to this weekend it's a busy weekend for me so i don't know how i'm going to do this vlog i might have to chop it in two because it's already getting lengthy and as i said those long that long one gave me problems so just trying to cut them down small small but yeah i'm ready for the day i'll probably share with you some of my frying of fish and all that good stuff um but yeah pretty much that's it really just ready myself for the day so i am about to start frying my fish <clears throat> i'm really i don't think i'm good at frying fish so i'm gonna do my best the oil has to be really hot the fish needs to be dry that's really the key of it um but we'll see how it goes if it don't turn out right, I ain't showing you. <laughs> and I am here watching The Passion of Christ. It's a very triggering film. Wow. It is so good. So good. This is another one of my love languages. Scotch and the bonnet. Yeah. So the frying of the fish is turning out okay. So far. Can't complain. It's getting its fry on. It's just a long process and you have to have much patience when doing fish. And I think that's my problem. Just the patience, don't be patient. We are kind of getting somewhere now. This is the last of the frying I'm doing. I'm now preparing the onions, carrots, you know, Escobit style, Caribbean style, you know? And when it's done, I'm gonna show you like, the finished result. Yeah. Here are the saltfish fritters. MTS nice too. Yes, everything is going on around here. Let me show you the fish. And here is the finale of the fish. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Anyway, this is the finale. Yeah, I'm planting coleslaw. Why are you revving up my heater like that? Hard old bread, fish, and little rice and pies. Yeah, hard dough bread. God, I cannot beat me. Anyway, whoa, whoa. Hiya, say hi. Why? Who was that? Uh -uh. Alexa, set alarm for 6.30 a.m. Set alarm set for 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been such a long day. I noticed that I really don't get to round off the days, but I'm about to get to my bed now. I'm shattered. Ugh, days when you're just cooking all day and doing whatever then you eat sometimes you don't want to eat but that food was lovely <sighs> Sorry. but pretty much rounding up and going to bed i've got another long day ahead of me tomorrow so i'm gonna get some sleep it's currently like 11 11 like literally 11 11 as you can see here well maybe you can't so yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll catch you lot in the morning. Why is this on my arm? Some sh foot string. All right, see you later, bye. <laughs>
it is today is saturday the 8th of april and we are about to go and see my daughter's godmother who we have not seen for many many years so i'm gonna try and film it now um it was a little way away but we're here now the 8th of april and we are about to go and see my daughter's godmother who we have not seen for many many years so i'm gonna try and film it now um it was a little way away but we're here now go forward Sure, she doesn't want to be on camera, but let's see. Bring the dog. Maybe they know we're here. That's what it. Bring it. Hello. <laughs> what you did not know it was in morning. <laughs> this is how long they seen each other. So here we are. Oh, maybe it was very short. So, oh. <laughs> Say hi, <Really? laughs> everyone. I am. Um, video and she was calling me short family. like people can't see that I'm tall. I haven't seen them for so tall. long. Seven inch heels, okay? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. Ten years later. Ten years. Is it been that long? It's been ten years. Wow. Brielle, the last but is the one that went there? What are you we, trying to we say? We were still here. But you didn't come back. You didn't come visit me. <laughs> that, that, yes, and I was broke. I couldn't travel. travel stuff. Not with the gun crime over there. I'm Yo, sorry. I couldn't travel, okay? <laughs> No, the gun crime is brutal. Currently, we are at our wedding rehearsal for Sunday, which is very, very exciting. Hey guys, so I am back home now. Just finished eating. It has been a long day. So, as you saw, I went to Surrey to go and see, um, visit my daughter's godmother, my good friend who came from um, America. And I drove down, dropped my daughter home, and then I went to the bridal rehearsal. Now I'm back home. Just finished eating, and I am chilling for about an hour and a half. And then I'm going to go um, to my friend's daughter's birthday. But I want to show you some stuff that my good friend from the USA got me. So she got me this pack of Cheetos! Yeah! And she got my daughter some sweets. But she's already opened them already. So she got herself some Mike and Ike. The tropical flavor. She also got these Mike and Ike. I know some of these we could get from England now. <coughs> um, she got some Twizzlers. They are open. But this is like a tropical flavor. And um, some of them are really, really nice. Oh, sorry, can I have none? Yeah. Alright, put that back then. Sorry, she said no. But then she got some jelly, jelly ranch out. Jelly beans. Yum, yum, yum. yum. And then... <laughs> this is my favourite of all. If you don't know anything about me, I love me some Irish Spring. Let me smell it. And see, oh, does it not open? Oh. I don't know if this is the proper original one, but it says original. This, what? It's spilled out. Yeah, because who bought it upstairs? You. Jaden. Oh my gosh, my thing is leaking. Anyway, this. Basically, I've got two of these and two of these. And now I need to go and clean them. This made me a bit angry bird. But that's what I've got. Mm. I thought I'd reload the Irish Springs and come again. <clears throat> so this is the one that I really like, the original. So I'll probably leave this all last. And then we have Mountain Blast. <laughs> I'm just so spoiled. Active scrub. Can you see the little mess there? So I was trying to clean it up. Side eye, side eye. Um, yeah, this one, active scrub. So it's got like some beads in it, but there's something about ice spring that just springs me up. And then mountain chill. Mm. I wish you could smell it over the over the way. Do you know what, to be honest, do you know what this smells like? 
It actually smells like Redox, but the original one has a different kind of smell and the feeling, but I just can't open this because I need the nostalgia. I want to smell it, but it's not opening, so I just have to pop that open. But this part is not opening. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I so want to smell this one. But anyway, it is what it is. But I think this is the one. But when I was in America, it was like a see-through bottle. And it's green inside. And it's just, I think it's the original um, Irish Spring. But anyway. It's the little things. It's the little things. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here and the next one is gonna be the wedding edition so I'm really excited about that but I hope you enjoyed this vlog please make sure to comment like and subscribe Burr. please I'm trying to get to 1k subscribers by December so I would appreciate your support tell a friend to tell a friend to come and watch my weekly vlogs because here is where it's at. I love you all. Take care.